Hello there, welcome to the A-Level Maths Pure Paper 2 of June 2023. Here we're looking at question 3. Given that we have this log equation here, show that 3x squared minus 13x minus 30 equals 0. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move all of our logs onto one side by adding them, uh, by multiplying inside the logarithms and dividing where we have a subtraction. So let's move uh, these two logs together first. So log 2 brackets x plus 3 x plus 10 and then we're going to subtract this log onto the other side and we're going to move the 2 inside the logarithm as a power so minus log base 2 of x squared equals 2. Let's now group uh, these two logarithms on the left hand side together so log base 2 of x plus 3 x plus 10 over x squared equals 2. Fantastic, that's all good so far. Let's now move the 2 onto the other side, so it becomes 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. So x plus 3, x plus 10 over x squared equals 4. That's 2 to the power of 2. And then the x squared goes to the other side, and we'll expand the left-hand brackets x squared plus 13x plus 30 equals 4x squared. Let's subtract everything onto the other side, and we get 3x squared minus 13x minus 30. And there we are. That's the answer for part A. Part B, write down the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 13x minus 30. So can we factorise this? Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's have a look at 3x and x. Uh, so 5 and 6. Uh, if we put the uh, five, 6 on uh, this side, we do minus 6 on this side and plus 5 on this side. That will give us minus 18. Uh, add 5, which will give us minus 13 and the minus 30. Good. So x equals minus 5 over 3, and x equals 6. Hence, states which of these roots in parts b, i, is not a solution to this equation here, giving a reason for your answer. Well, we would need to be able to substitute each of these roots back into the equation, and if we look at substituting in minus 5 thirds in this position here, so log 2 of minus 5 thirds, uh, then you can't do log of a negative number. doesn't exist. Excellent. So, um, so states which of this roots is not a solution. So therefore, x equals minus 5 thirds is not a solution. This is the case with any log equation that you need to make sure that you can substitute both of your values into the original equation and it's still, and, and the, the value is allowed to go into the function because it is positive. And there we are, that's the answer to question three with a total of five marks. Let's now move on to question four.